This show is brought to you by Tay Lin, Dharma Wheelies. It's my milk in a box. Phone Losers of America, Fancy Pants, MST3 Clay, Gordo, Crispy808, and Mr. Turbois. Thank you to everyone for supporting the show. You can find out more at immoralhole.com. You can find our archives at travelswithmiriam.com. Hello? Hi, you got the items for sale? I'm in the tunnel under your house. Hello? 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 You have the bed frame? Yes. Hello? Can you hear me? Yes. Oh, good. Can, what, what, what can I do for you? I'm in the tunnel under your house, and I was looking for the bed frame. You could just spell it, like, with two T's and two N's or something. Whoa. Hello. Hi. Hello. I'm calling about your listing for, for sales. Uh, which one, buddy? Uh, I'm calling about the, the amethyst uh, necklace with the tiger tears in it. Uh, you must have the wrong number. I had a goat and gun posted mm -hmm. on there. Well, no, this has a listing. It says uh, T tears of tiger kept in captivity and milked once a day by a Nigerian woman. You must have a wrong number. No, it says right, it's right next to the goat and it. in between the gun. It's right between the goat and the gun. It's right between it. It's listed. Well, they must have got it wrong then. I don't. The, the ad says right here. It says one goat, tears of a captive tiger, and then gun, and then it says call this motherfucker. He's got the goods. Uh, you must have got the wrong one, but if I had it, I'd show it. No, do you, I mean, do you, you, you want me to repeat the number to make sure I got the right number? I'll tell you what, I'll, hang, I'll hang up with you because I may, have, I may have made a mistake. I'll hang up, and then I'll, I'll redial the number from the ad, and, um, uh, you know, I'm sorry to disturb you. Are you sure? Okay. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hang up with you and redial the number for the ad. I apologize. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Hello. Yeah, we redialed the ad, man. I don't know what they've done, man. They must put it on the wrong one. But this guy right here, we just we just met in the uh, in the classified section, you know, the for sale section, and we were congregating, and he was looking for the goat gun too. Yeah, I need one. Well, I don't know where it's at, then, but. It says right here, goat with gout gun. Is that you? Yeah, a goat and a gun. No, it's it's a goat with gout. It's really important. Yeah, he oh, drinks right. too much beer and has a high it has a high fatty red meat diet. Yeah. And he eats too I much know. tuna out of the can. Oh, That's how you get gout. Our, That's how the goat got gout. The goat got gout got. Yeah, yeah. yeah uh, he eats yeah. a lot of those cheese-filled sausages and red wine. Um, <laughs> we need the goat gout. Yeah, I'll We're have doing, fun uh, figuring some that scientific... out. Okay, and you, you ate your wife's pussy, I don't have too. time for this shit. Shut up. I married, you'll you'll so fucking make as much... Hey, shut up. You'll make as much this time as we science. fucking demand out of you. God damn it. This is science. You're impeding scientific progress. <laughs> fucking moron. Now we'll find something else to fuck with. Bye. Ah! <laughs> At least I can hang up a phone. Still there, you packer? Does that count as the second call or the third? <laughs> the second is still ongoing. He's still mm -hmm. there. He's so mad he's going to go beat his wife. It's yeah. okay if, if it just has gout in the pecker. We can 
deal with that. Hello, oh. customers. Hello. Hello. Hi, you have the machine for sale? Which machine are you looking for? The uh, exercising machine and the riding mower machines. Yes. Okay, and you had the blade machines? Blade? The mower? Yeah, the yeah, blade, the blade. The, the blade machine that you put into the machine? No, I have riding mower that has a deck for mowing. It's a 36 inch long mower. I'm not sure about this. Let me put my brother on. He knows more about the, the machine blade yeah. and the machine deck. Now, excuse me. You, yes. You said it was a rotting mower? Yes. Well, did you leave it out in the rain or something? Why is it rotting? I don't... I, I, didn't, I didn't say rotting. It's a riding. It's a riding lawnmower. Oh, I said, why are you trying to sell a rotting mower? Ask her if he's got gas in him. Oh, my friend Sling Blade, he likes French fried taters and rotting mowers. I ask her, she, I ask her if she put gas in him. Is it gas 10 in it? at night, and I don't have time to play with you people. Are you serious about purchasing or not? We're oh, serious as, as, as a, a rash on a hooker's leg. Hey, only she throws you some name for each rock. Taters. Why in the same hell would you wait until 1030 at night to call somebody about buying something from them if you're that damn serious? Because we're stupid, man. We have to work, ma'am. Mm -hmm. I think you need to work yeah, on we somebody get up around. nerves. Ain't yeah, we, no we get either. up around around two in the afternoon and then go to bed at like four in the morning because we ain't got no I jobs. I don't really give a flying we, fuck. Don't call me back. We like, ma'am. We like to cut off catalytic converters. Mm -hmm. I don't give a goddamn. Yeah, what they you call me. Do. If you want me to trace the call and give it to the law, I'll be happy to. No, don't give it to Sheriff. Uh, what's his face? Already done. What's his name? No, Fuck don't do off. that. My mom is going to get mad at me. Done. Mom's going to be angry. I don't give a goddamn. Not done. again. Which uh, lawnmowers are in use, uh, you know. Hello? Hello? <laughs> Hi. Hello? Hi, you got the, the black powder machine? No, it's so. Oh, why is the ad still up, motherfucker? Hello? Hello. Is this the man that's got the Pecker magazines? I'm, I'm sorry, just a minute. Let me Hello. turn my TV down. One second. All right. All right. I got to get the remote. Mute. Okay. What were you asking me now? You got the May AR-15 Pecker magazines? Yeah. All right, shit. Uh, what what type are they? Well, like I told you, they're the they're the older style metal magazines. Oh hell, the metal ones held up real nice. You ain't had them out in the swamp, have you? What is that? What did you say? No, I'm not understanding you. Yeah, you, you ain't had the metal ones out in the swamp, have you? No, they've been in, they've been kept in a uh, heated uh, 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 gun safe. I want to, one of them, uh, the ones that don't have the humidity. Yeah, that's what I'm, that's what I'm saying. I have uh, a catalytic, uh, catalytic uh, bags in there and everything. I mean, uh, there, there's nothing. You talking with about them when it, you you talking about one of them Betty Crocker gun safes in there, one of them Easy Bake ones. I have a heated gun safe, yes. Oh, okay. It's like it's like one of them catalytic converters in. Well, it's a it's a heated it's 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 it stays at a comp comp it stays at a constant temperature and I have All right. uh cat catalyst uh, I have those uh, bags that uh, 
pick up the moisture also in, in there with it. All right, and then uh, they got the lug nuts on it? What do you mean lug nuts? Huh? I'm not understanding. Like the lug nuts on, on the thing, the nuts. You mean on the magazine? On, yeah, on a safe. It's got the lug nuts, right? Well, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm selling the magazines. I'm not selling the safe. I mean. Right, right. But, but, but the lug nuts on the safe to keep them safe. Well, yeah, they're, they're kept safe. All right. There's nothing wrong with them. All right, then. Are you interested in them? Yeah. Oh shit! I thought you were going there, honey. Uh, so, no, how much are we talking? How many? How? What? I have, I have eight magazines, and I put I I, I just put it on on uh, the swap shop today, earlier today. But I have. I, they, ain't I have eight they ain't pornographic, are they? They're what? They ain't pornographic in nature, are they? I don't know what you're talking about here. They're there's two, two, three magazines. Well, you said you had the mag. You said you had the magazines. I want to make sure they're not pornographic in nature. These are these are two, two, three magazines. Is what I have for an AR. Well, I don't care what year they were. I don't care what year they were from, as long as they ain't pornographic. What are you talking about, pornographic? I don't understand what you're saying. You said you got the magazines. They're. They're military magazines that fit an AR-15. I, well, I, I don't care what they're wearing. If they're wearing military garb or whatever, I'm just interested in uh, what is your Hello? 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 Is, Hello. This, is this the graveyard where, hey, is this the graveyard where they buried Saddam Hussein? Yeah. Well, put him on Who the phone. I want to talk to him. Who is it? Hey, don't you worry about it, you old time pecker. I want you to just do what I tell you, and we'll be fine. Huh? What? Who is it? Hey, do what I tell you, you motherfucker. Nah. <laughs> Now, Jesus says you got to do what I say. It's in the Bible. It says women must obey men. Now, you do what I tell you. <laughs> You're full of it, buddy. I'm full of what? Full of I'm shit. full of semen? That's how, that's how the, no, I'm full of semen. That's how the Lord intended it. No. Nah. You, red, you redneck woman. Ready to hear what? Hello. Hello. Hi. You you have you have you have blankets? We have what? You have blankets. Blankets. I don't know yes. what you're talking talking about. <laughs> Slave blankets? Uh we had one. We had one, we sold it. But we had oh. two, I guess we told them both. Oh, okay. Well, why is the ad still up then, motherfucker? Well, maybe we just sold it. It was on on the wow. radio. It's on well, radio. Well, listen, listen, you don't you you listen, you don't have to sell me on your incompetence, I already believe. But what else do you have to sell then that you still have that you listed? Uh, I think she listed records. Um the horse blanket and uh, I remember what the other thing was. She had three things on there. She had a she had a, she had a motherfucking tape, didn't she? Goodbye. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Hi. You got the items for sale? I got the what? You got things for sale, motherfucker, you. What are you, what are you looking to buy? A oh, snowblower? the snowblower. It already, yep, it already sold, man. Sorry. Well, why is the ad still up then, motherfucker? Fuck you, too. Yeah, fuck you. 
Yeah, I can't wait till he gets to see. Studio Six North Platte, Nebraska. This is Allison. How can I help you? What? Ah. Hello? Can you repeat that? That was really fast. This is Studio Six Motel Six in North Platte. Oh, what's the? What's the she says she says she's fat. What's the studio about? The studios have a little kitchenette. Oh, I thought it was like a like a club, you know, where uh, socialites hang out. That was really interesting. Really something. Thank you for calling downtown Red Blue Fargo. This is Dana. How may I help you? Hi, Dana. There's a man here. But, uh, you know, he's outside here. He's trying to shove raisins in my nostrils. He says it's from the front desk and some sort of Christmas raisin. Does Where it are work you? For you? Well, we're out here by the car. You're in the parking ramp? Yeah, yeah. And he's he's shoving raisins in everyone's noses. He okay, he uh, no, he does not work hotel. for the hotel. Uh, we'll send security out. Open your fucking nostrils to me. Here comes a want... raisin. No. Here comes. We'll call the, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call the police right now. No, no. I'm the raisin man. He seems to be playful. It's not It's not like a serious thing, but... No, this is a serious threat. I'm threatening you with raisins. I don't want your raisins, man. Get away. Here he comes. Can you go no. These are mouse raisins. raisins. The guy. It's the guy that was no. These are mouse raisins. No raisins. Yeah, no. motherfucker, no raisins. yeah. No, ah, no. Ah, these used to be no grapes. Raisins. Now they're raisins. No. I hope you're allergic to grapes. No. Okay, I'm sending no security raisins. out. Okay, that's nice, honey, baby. He should be out there shortly. Do you know what level you're on? Uh, the one that goes beep, beep, honk, honk when I drive my car through, on the humps. It makes my horn go off. We don't have any humps in our parking garage. Well, I see humps, and they make me horny. Are you in the uh -huh. Civic Center parking lot? I'm honking my horn right now. My lovely lady lumps. Thank you All for the calling. All fucking raisin hands. Fargo, 19th Avenue, no. Airport Dome. Thank you for calling reservations. This is Solana. How can I help you today? Thank you I for calling raisin. reservations. I have, ra I have reason to believe I need a reservation. Ah. Nah. Nah, see that? See? Hello, ma'am. Did, did, you, did you get that? Oh. He doesn't have reason yeah. to believe. Did you get that? Oh, what do you mean, though? Okay, you actually told me that central reservation group. How can write it down. Hey, washerwoman, washerwoman, write it down. <sighs> Look, you know, you got a real fucking problem here, and I'm sick and tired of people telling me what to do. You know, I'm trying to book a hotel, and they're like, hey, this is the Wyndham, it's so-and-so, and what's your father? And, you know, I'm my own person, and... I don't need to listen to you. I don't need to listen to the people at the front desk. I don't need to listen to the people who value about, my car. Tell them, the, tell them about the time you didn't listen to the cops. Oh, yeah. So this cop was like, hey, pull over. You're under arrest. And then I was like, hey, fuck you, copper. And then I, like, pushed the gas pedal all the way down to where it meets the baseboard or whatever in the fucking car. And then all of a sudden, I realized later on, I'm going, like, 180 miles an hour in my Prius. And then I thought back to, uh, you know, what, what the fuck is that guy? The Inconvenient Truth. What does Al Gore's son, right? He got caught speeding, smoking weed, 100 miles an hour in his um, fucking Prius. Um, and then I was like, so yeah, I'm just yield. like Al Gore's son. No, yeah, he, you can't he was he was hang, he was hanging out with Hunter Biden too. Okay. Yeah, um, like I went to fucking. I went to okay. Best Buy I'm just, and I bought Hunter Biden's okay. laptop. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm so sorry to cut you off. Then, okay. Uh, you actually reached the Wyndham Central Reservation Group. So, how can I help you with a reservation then? Well, I have reservations about the fact that when I was at Best Buy, like I was, I was told to purchase a laptop that, you know, 
you could spill things on the keyboard and it would survive, you know, kind of like a tough book. Because Hunter likes to, you know, be in the pool with the ladies, but he's also working, you know, he's, he's got a good work ethic to work in while he's in the hot tub and the pool with the ladies. You said he likes to work with the ethnics? He's, yeah, he's a very open minded. Okay, and, um, uh, I mean, a couple so sorry times. to cut you off again. Uh, yeah, okay. So I just want to confirm, okay? Uh, so you said that you already had made a reservation. I'm so sorry to cut you off then, okay? Since we do have lots of calls coming uh -huh. in, though, okay? So how can I help you with that reservation then? Well, see, okay, Hunter told me that he had some girls ready and that I needed to make a reservation. So, you know, it's really hard to do that because I don't have his laptop that was taken away and, you know, people at Twitter were preventing me from getting a hold of it. And so, yeah, it's like I need to make a reservation, but I need Hunter Biden's laptop to do that. So how do I go um, about it? Okay, I can go ahead and process the reservation for you then. Okay, so uh, they're actually asking you to um, buy a laptop just to make the reservation. Since you had us on the line, I can go yeah. ahead and help you out with that. So are you referring to our day in and suites by Wyndham Fargo, 19th Avenue, Airport Dome, located at 1507 19th Avenue North in Fargo, North Dakota? Holy crap, that's a lot of address information. So yeah, because um, Are you, no, we can go are ahead you and transferring answer. my call uh, right now. No, I don't. Your phone's ringing. Sorry, no. You should answer that. No. Parties on Main Avenue. This is Jared. How may I help you? Hey, Jared. Fuck you, man. Yeah, who's this? Okay, so yes. We're um, over here. How can I help you with the reservation then? Hello. <clears throat> Hey, Jesus, this lady said that she... Uh -huh. It's what? All right. Yeah, okay, man. So, yeah, this you... is from... What number? This is... Hello? This is Hardy's. Oh, my God. Yeah. Is this all y'all got to do? <laughs> all right. <laughs> um, hello? <laughs> all right. All right, hello. Um, it seems that uh, you actually reached a different department, okay? So, all right, are you so... making the phone calls and playing the music? Yeah, booty, booty, booty. Booty, 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 Hi, Steven. How are you doing tonight, honey baby? Steven? My brother's here with me. Let me give him the phone. I'm I'm a little too... No. Is that, is that Steven? Yeah, what can I help you with? Steven, we need some room, Steven. What? We need some room, Steven. Yeah. <laughs> Because of your list. Hello, Holiday Inn Express, West yeah. Acres. My name is Darren. How can I help you? Hey, Darren. Hello? Hello? Hey, Darren, you wouldn't refuse somebody's service if they had a list, would you? All right. How can I help you tonight? What the fuck, dude? I just asked you a question. I uh, no, that has nothing um, um, to do with uh, getting a room here as long as we have um, your uh, ID call and cannot be complete. Oh, oh. Hey, hey, how may I help you? Oh, Hello? Because I can tell you right now, my husband, mm -hmm. you have sat there and harassed me and harassed me on my show. Which room number is there? Motherfucker, what the fuck, you punk ass bitch? Hello? No. Uh -huh. Hello? Hello. Yes, sir. How may I help you? You fucking loser. Thank you for calling Hello? the Fargo Ramada. Hello? Hi, honey, baby. How are you doing tonight? 
<laughs> what? Hi, honey, baby. How are you doing tonight? Who in the world is this? I'm the honey baby man. I call <laughs> women up and I say, hi, honey, baby. How are you doing tonight? <laughs> Usually they just slam the phone down and, and curse at me. Oh, no. Okay. He's okay. your, fa- he's your, he's your friendly neighborhood on. internet pervert. Yeah. <laughs> what? Who is I said this? he's your friendly neighborhood internet pervert. <laughs> yeah. Ask her if she still wears Crocs. I don't wear I'm uh, What? You still wear Crocs? I've you probably wear them in the snow, don't you? Who is this? Oh, uh, we're we, we're sex perverts from Craigslist. How are you? Oh, how are you? <laughs> okay. So like, but, well, like, but that was in the in the list, and they said call and ask, and and then she wears Crocs, which really turned me on. I've never found a girl that wears Crocs before. I don't wear Crocs. <laughs> but it says you do. I'm like, I just kept finding these women that wear Uggs. They wear the Ugg boots. Uggs. <laughs> Aren't you afraid, though? <laughs> what? Aren't you afraid? To wear Crocs, he means. Are you, aren't you afraid to wear Crocs? Yeah, like, what if you wore them outside and it got freezing, then they would, like, stiffen up and shatter? I mean, that's a real problem. You got to stop wearing those fucking Crocs. <laughs> okay. Why do you, how long have you been wearing Crocs? Are you a part shareholder in the Crocs industries? I'm going to go, okay. <laughs> Where you going? It's me, Joe. Good evening. Thank you for calling Kendall. Hello. Gary, how may I help you? Hey, how you doing there, honey baby? This is Gary. My name is Gary. I'm a guy. Yeah, I know. Are you trying to tell me that a guy named Gary can't be my honey baby for the night? Nope. All right. Well, listen here, honey baby. I'm going to need a room. (laughs) Well, you need a room. We can got rooms. Yep. So let me just, I need yeah. a room because me, me and me. Ginseng Jerry are going to get into a room there. We're going to take some nights. We're going to take some creatine. We're going to get some I'm powders. Ex- ex- We're going to rub sold out. Actually, I'm sold out. Hey, why don't you sold go out. ahead and transfer me to a room. I'll make room, baby. Go ahead and transfer me over to a, a guest room. I'll make a vacancy. I can't do that. Come on, honey, baby. <laughs> Can I have room 215, please? Sure. Think you're lying to my balls over here, Jerry. Jerry, the phone line in the ground. So you can speak. Hello, He's I'm Brandian. a resident. Hello. Hello, hi, I'm a resident across the street at the cemetery. All the noise, it's waking me up, and my friends were all woken up. We're going to get out of our graves and come over. Thank you for calling American. How may I help you? I'm a ghost. I'm in your hotel. Ooh. Hello. What? what can I help you with? We need more towels and toilet paper. My brother what room? the entire thing in the in the well he's in the bathroom. I'm in the I'm in the bed and I'm wearing the the thing on my head, so I'm like a ghost. I'm a ghost man, I'm a ghost. Mm. He's wearing my skin. Yeah. Mm. Mm. So you needed mm. towels and what else? The toilet paper, because my brother he flushed an entire roll and it's it's unrolling and it's there's water and it's a whole big mess. You don't have a plunger down there, do you? Uh, you're able to come up to the front desk and grab anything you need. Yeah. Okay. I'll be right there. Ah, let's grab her. Let's grab her. No. No. We need another harlot for our, our stable. Mm-hmm. Thanks for calling Fireside In. This is Justin speaking. Hey, Justin, I'm not allowed to make any vague threats anymore. What? Yeah, they told me that. They said, hey, when, when the phone rings and somebody answers, no more vague threats. So I'm not allowed to anymore, okay? Uh, okay. I'm just telling you. I'm just saying. So if you're expecting one out of me, it's not going to happen. Okay, this is Dakota, right? Yeah, what's up, man? All right, All right. I got like three people in front of me here, so. 
Okay, well, just put the phone down. I'll hang on. All right. All right. Hey. Thank you for calling the fireside in. This is Justin speaking. Hey, it's Dakota. What happened? I'm. I still got. I got more people here. Just come up here if you want. All right. Let me talk. Let me talk to. Uh, let me talk to number two in line while you're ringing the other ones in. I want to tell them about the amenities. <laughs> Uh, I got. I gotta go, bud. Come on, motherfucker. Thank you for calling Cobble Phone News. This directly to Carrie. How may I help you? Hey, Carrie. Hey. What you doing? I'm at work. Are you receiving an incoming transmission? Because I am. No, I'm at the Cobble Phone. Okay, but why? I don't know. I'm calling someone else just today. Okay. Did did someone call in? Huh? Tell her. Tell her, Ted. Ted, Have you told her that the sausage machine in our room isn't working? Not yet. I don't know. Yeah, I'm trying to make sausage, and it's like it's like it's not working. Oh, like those microwaves? The microwave? Is that what this is? Yeah. Oh, I was just throwing a bunch of raw meat in there and then trying to squeeze it out into like a sausage shape. Um. But yeah, I don't think you're interested in that. I don't know. I just don't no. want to for a problem. What room are you in? 215. Um, yeah, I'm not really good with that. Uh, is it? What are you good with? Huh? Like, what you know are you good with? Like, what's your skills? Yeah. You want to come to the room? Yeah, I'm, I'll come up there and check it out. Nah, you probably don't want to do that. I'm ugly. Okay. okay. So I oh, never you said had okay? With, mm. Yeah, because I never had any problems with microwaves before in those rooms. Yeah, I might be uh, diverging from the main use case of microwaves. Mm -hmm. I was reading the microwave manual, and nowhere in there did it say that it's okay to uh, stuff 16 pounds of ground beef inside of it. So maybe that's a problem. Probably, yeah, because usually I do like one pound at a time for putting it in the microwave. You microwave ground beef? Mm. Doesn't mm -hmm. it like cut That's what I normally do when. Great. That's why I normally I don't do know. I'm, I'm a... Oh. Why don't you put it in a pan and stir it around? Not that I know, because I'm a, I'm a loopy vegetarian. I don't know how to cook meat. Oh. I've never been a vegetarian. Oh, you don't like animals, then? You're not a veterinarian? <laughs> I like eat meat. <clears throat> Ask her how she money makes. Yeah, what's your side hustle? Because that job can't possibly pay all your bills. Um, for a fact, I only make eleven fifty an hour here, but I work up. I have a second job. Oh my god! And I work at the hospital, so I've that I. This is my seven day stretch. Shit, have you, I mean, not that I'm trying to, like, change the course of your life in any way, but have you considered becoming a white-collar business criminal? Never have. See, what you, I mean, the only caveat is you have to wear, like, slacks and a button-down shirt or something, maybe a tie. Mm -hmm. um, but then you basically spend the rest of your life lying to people about what the products are capable of. 
you sell it yeah. to them and then when they report problems with it, you just like become hard to reach. And then mm-hmm. you just make money hand over fist. I mean, yeah. and maybe you'll work like three or four hours a day, but then whenever somebody asks you, Hey, how's it going? You'd be like, Oh man, I'm so busy. Like I all stuff to do. Mm-hmm. And you know, you're not really busy. You're probably like working three or four hours out of the day. Now you've seen those TikTok videos of employees at LinkedIn, right? Yep. Yeah, I have. Like girls, they're like filming themselves, like eating like four course gourmet meals and then finishing it off with a shot of like blended grass. And then they're yep. like meditating and rope dancing outside in Guatemala or something. That could be you. <laughs> I never see myself doing that. Oh, you you like our honest? You want to work for a living? I'm sorry. <laughs> That's okay. Well, I you know I I've been working at the hospital for a month and and it's actually I get I get a better pay over there than here. I am basically oh, just wow. doing like on call stuff pretty much so. Yeah, but you're helping people, though, you know? Yeah. Don't you want to be like Elon Musk? Yeah. You do? Oh. I don't like him, Well, then you got to do what I said. You want to be rich like him. Mm. Oh, God. Do you want to smell Elon's Musk? No. It's a, a valid question. Mm. I mean, he's impregnated like 11 or 12 women already. You could be next. I'm good. Do you guys mind if I ask a question real quick? Yeah, sure. This is an open forum here. Okay. Um, yeah, I have a question for you as well because you seem like a very honest and straightforward type of person. Um, yeah. When was the last time... When was the last time you clogged the toilet? What did you eat that clogged the toilet? And how did you unclog it? And I'll I'll go off air to take my answer. Uh I'm pretty sure what the toilet plunger. Was what now? Okay. Sorry, I think there's a transient shuffling bags here. I couldn't hear what you said. Yeah, it does back then. I've been here for a couple months, so I'll do that. Yeah, the real reason why I'm calling to complain is because I was panhandling outside my room and someone told me to stop it, get a job. Oh. I'm from San, I'm from San Francisco. I don't take kindly to people telling me to work. <laughs> no. I I know well I normally cook my meat in the microwave like that too, so fine. How did we come back to that? It's full circle. You, ma'am, I got a question about the hospital. If you have a moment. Sure. Okay. Yeah, I authorize this question. <laughs> good, good, good. Um, do you ever like? Do you work with? There, are there coma patients that are in the yeah. hospital? That you, yeah. you, you ever go over and shake one of them and tell them they got to get up and mop the floor and pull their weight around there, or you're going to kick them the fuck out? No. You if should because that, they're, a bunch of la- be they're a bunch of lazy bones. They need to they need to get up and and pull their weight, pull themselves up by their bootstraps, and get to work. Yeah, you should fuck like, with them though. Yeah, because you should t- you should tickle their feet and see if they're really in a coma. Like you should play War of the Worlds in, in their ear. Oh. No. I don't work with people with COVID in the COVID nineteen unit. I don't really do that. Do they do they have lamps in their room like lights? Yes, they do. You should pull the wires from the lamp and shock their feet to make sure they're really in a coma. Yeah, they could be faking it. <laughs> yeah, sure. they probably sure. are. They could, yeah. Like maybe they're just a really fucking lazy. Yeah, and they're like, "Hey, I'm gonna fake a coma so that I can just sleep 24 seven. You ever consider that? Yep, and I never do that because I 
I'll say this, but I never gotten sick in my life where I never missed a day at work. Oh, great, great. Can we talk about your, your menstrual cycle regularity? Sure. I don't know. I don't know. Is that off topic? I guess. No, no. She's going to tell us. Go ahead. And, uh, start telling us about it. Go ahead. It's usually it's a monthly thing for me. So what? Last... what the, hell, the hell you say? For how long? That's unusual. It's usually the 7 to 15 days. Seven to, seven to 15? It's 15 days long? Mm-hmm. I just got, oh, I shit. had, I finally got it back uh, in October. Wait, wait a minute, got it back? Where'd it go? I stopped having it from 2019 to uh, to September. And then when did you have the baby? I can't get pregnant. Why not? I'm pretty sure it's, it's the ovary thing. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah. That's okay. But um, really, what you should do to those coma patients is you should, like, yeah. change the chronology of their room. You know, so like make it look like Futurama. They they woke. You know, even though they they're out of the coma three days later, they wake up and they see like pictures of flying cars and robots and stuff. <laughs> that would be funny. Cause I I dealt with. Is there um? Bobby. Do do you ever get like eat the patient's stuff? Like say say they they go in a coma. Do you just get to like take stuff from them, like their phone or extra pills or anything? Yeah, so they they just sit around what? and sleep all day, lay in bed, and they don't they don't go for a walk yeah, they, or anything like that. They don't need it. So like, what do you? What's the best thing that you've got from a patient? Um, I'm not really good with. What's that kind of thing? You just open their wallet and you take the money out. They don't need it anymore. They would want you to have it. That's they a given, don't, right? I, I don't, they don't have their belongings in the room, to be honest with you. Uh, but, like, prescription drugs? Like, you could just take those and you could sell them. No, usually nurses have it at the nurse's station. But so if, you like, one of them... Yeah, I mean, like, if one of, do they have, like, shared rooms where there's multiple people in a room, you know, with the partitions? Nope. That's why, that's why, uh... Everyone gets their own room? Yes. Oh. Because I was saying if there was, like, six or more of them, then it would be, like, mandatory uh, 20% gratuity they would have to pay you. Hmm. No, uh, yeah, that's, they, that's a real disadvantage of working with unconscious people. Yeah, they have they have their oh. own room. Yep. Why? It's not like they're going to wake up or anything. I mean, if you're in a coma, what's what are they? I mean, honestly, they could just like put you out on the street, and the cars would be going by, and people honking. It's not like you would wake up, and if you did, it would be a good thing. Yeah. You know, so honestly, you should it's make noise if someone's in a coma. Bring the noise. I never, I never dealt with someone who's been in a coma, but in the hospital itself, oh. but I dealt with a lot of, I I dealt with uh, residents who are in long-term care that they have dementia, and uh, oh. they they repeat themselves every day. And it's kind of like their family members don't come up and see it. Oh, this is my grandma. She has dementia. Hello. This this child is there. Hello. Hello. Oh, yeah. That's that's, that's the only reason why I only work with people with dementia when I do housekeeping up in the hospital. You get tired of repeating yourself? Oh, my God. That just never 
You ever see that movie, oh. what is it, 31st or 21st Dates or whatever the hell it is? Yep, the 51st Dates. Hmm. The girl was in that car accident and he had to repeat it, repeat to herself, like, to her several times. Yes. So that's is that the Gabby Gefford one? Where, like, she has the brain injury and she, like, used to be a senator or something? Oh, no, that's, yeah. Isn't I mean, that with Adam is a good... he Yeah, I mean, that, that does Sandler raise a good question. Yeah, I mean, that does raise a completely uh, connected question, which is, yeah. have you worked with, like, prehistoric ice men in the hospital? Like, have no, they no, brought no. any people in big ice cubes and melted them down? No. We don't do that at the hospital. Hmm. What about, like, uh, you know, a dinosaur eggs that they find in the frozen wastelands of Antarctica, do they ever bring them to the hospital? No. no. They don't. Wow, that's a really boring hospital. It is, actually. But do they, they, ever, do they ever bring any of the... Hmm. What about the infected, though? Do they ever bring the infected there, like... You know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah, I know what you're talking about. I don't think they have. So there's no, like, flesh-eating zombies there? Nope. Mm -mm. I guess you would know, right? Mm -hmm. How do you know you're not one? I mean... Because I'm smart. Are you making that. a call? Northern Lights in. This is Karen. How may I help you? Hello? Do you, Karen, Karen uh, can you uh, sync up with my colleague here? She's uh, she's working at the hotel. She's also a uh, brain surgeon. I'm sorry, what? I've got my colleague on the phone here. She's been, she's being very quiet. And who are you? Are you? Oh, my name is uh, Dr. Freakenstein, and um, I think we lost the connection, ma'am. I think uh, it's important that, you know, we get that that username so I can send the <laughs> video. Thank God. Bye. This is Sierra Namana. How may I help you? Hi, I'm in a coma, and I was wondering if you have rooms that are really quiet. Oh, uh, well, we only got like eight people in the room or hotel right now, so the whole hotel is pretty quiet. Yeah, I mean, it's been about three years that I've been in the coma, and I'm afraid if there's too much noise, I might be woken out of it and have to get a job or something. Okay, well, I got rooms on the second floor that are quiet. All right. Okay. Now, I'm never going to check out because, I mean, I might be in a coma for like another 20 years. Well, we got monthly rates. So they're that just going to. Oh. They're just going to wheel my hospital bed into the room and then, you know, plug me in and then just leave. Okay. That sounds acceptable to you? Yeah, as long as my boss is okay with it. All right. Sounds good. Okay. Let's do this. Yep. So uh, second floor, um, and when I wake up, you might have to send me to Des Moines so I don't feel uncomfortable with the passage of time. Okay, I don't like, know how you, we do that. We don't that have that? vehicles. <laughs> I mean, it's 
something that I need help with, really, because when I finally do come out of the coma, like, I need the room to sort of reflect the time that I'm familiar with. So, like, if you do any renovations while I'm unconscious, that might startle me when I come out of the coma. Okay. Well... We like, but, like if there's a CRT television and then all of a sudden you've got, like, some, you know, LCD thingy on the wall, you know, you, you change the VHS to a DVD player, you know, you swap the Commodore with, like, an Alienware... All these things will cause me anxiety. It would cause anyone anxiety. So can can you commit to not renovating the room until I wake up? You'd have to talk to my boss on that one. He's the one that runs the whole business. Where is his lazy ass tonight? Uh, he's over at the Dakota Inn. He's probably working the front desk. The Dakota, why does that sound familiar? Oh, I have a friend named Dakota, that's right. Can can you, uh, you said your boss is at the Dakota Inn, so I have to call there? Yep, I can get you the number if you want. Uh, phone number. Can you just call me back at this number? Can you just give him this number? That I'm at should be on the caller ID. Yep, I can do that. The six six zero zero nine. Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay, I can. You do got that. it. All right. Thank you so much. You're welcome. All right. So we'll just. All right. Bye. Bye, Barrel West. Thank you for calling Love the Most, and this is Michelle. How may I help you? Hello? 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 They speak. They speak. Uh, I need a room. Oh, you don't want a hall? You have a room here. Hello? I, we have, we no, have I a hotel room. here. Well, we don't have a room yes, here. room. There's no room here. Room, there's a truck stop. Come on. Truck stop. There's a truck stop in the parking lot. No, don't. Can't. Shower for room. Shower, shower, oh, room. shower. We have one shower. Shower. shower one shower room. only. One shower only. Uh, one how shower. Many shower. We have one shower. Okay. Thank you. I have line. No, 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 no. Yo, hello, hello. I want number fifty-two. Pop fry rye. Right. Uh, ah, yeah, you son of a bitch. Number no two. MSG. <laughs> Play the game ever again. Good evening, Liz Quality. My name is Rama Tisho. How may I help you? Hello. Hi. Yeah, okay. Um, do you guys Hi. have any vacancies? Do you guys have any Sorry? vacancies? Do you have any vacancies? Have... Vacancies and yes, rooms? Yes. yes, yes, we do have. Okay. Are are you are you rent to two men, one bed? My you husband will be one... traveling with me. Two men, one bed, one. yeah? Yeah, currently we are short of well, sh single bed. I can give it double bed. Oh, can we push the beds together? Because we Sorry? like to lay in bed together. We like to lay in bed together. Can I push the beds together? Because we like to kiss and hug. And I rub his back. And I say, honey, baby, give me a kiss. And we, make, we kiss on the lips. Honey, Ted, can you, can you come here and explain? I don't know if she understands. Yeah, we need to uh, fuse the beds into one. You need to do what? Fuse. You know how the fusion, you go to like a Mexican, California fusion restaurant, it's the combining of things. Like when two two beds love each other a lot, we don't very have, much, and we don't have, become one. We don't have that. We don't have that. I'm sorry. What? You don't even know what it is, and you say you don't have it. 
the abduction. Because what you're saying, you are, you are saying, I don't understand you. Sweet heart, all those things that you are saying, I don't, I don't get it. Yeah. Um, I want to uh, hold my husband in my arms and make love to him in a bed. Sorry. Or two beds. Or two beds. <laughs> Oh, it in? It's like farting on your wedding day. Hello? Hi. Hi. Hello? Hi. What do you need? Oh, I need to fart on my wedding day. Do you have the fart pee? Fart pee? <laughs> Tavern. Hi, Tavern. My name is Tavern. Here's my brother. He's a big, fat motherfucker. Hi. Oh, I have a... Campbell Lodge. Oh, I have a package. Campbell. Campbell Lodge. Hi, yeah, I have a packer. You don't understand. Oh. Uh, yeah. I have a packer. I have a packer. Good evening, guys. From Motel. This is Kayla. Hi. How are you? Great. How are you? That's my father. He's Arnold Schwarzenegger. We're going to play a new fun game. It's called Who is My Daddy and What Does He Do? Do you want to play a fun new game? you got to answer him or he's going to beat me about the ass. Yes. What what did you say? I said my name is Julius and I'm your twin brother. <laughs> I don't have a twin brother. Oh, I'm sorry. We were we were made in a laboratory. You didn't know about me. What happened is the scientists, they, they raised you in paradise. They, you know, they gave you the best of everything, ed education, nutrition, but all the crap that was left over, that's, that's what they gave me. They hid you. you they hid me from you. Like when, yeah. I thought you said your dad was on like, with niggas. Well, see, like, when you wouldn't finish your dinner, they'd, like, take the plate away and feed me with your leftovers because I was, like, <laughs> genetically inferior. <laughs> You're so bullshit. No, it's a true fucking story. No lie. You know that... Thanks for calling. I'm calling the police now. You're sucking my fat cigar cock. You're an idiot, lady. Where are the, who are those people? You tell them, Mom. Oh, yeah, that's my surrogate mother because I wasn't allowed to have my real mother because you took that away from Say me. Say it right, cesarean mother. <laughs> you can tell why I'm in a bad mood because these are my children. She sense. makes me put my hand on a hot stove and then make me say the ABCs. Yeah, she, she makes... <laughs> That's half true. She rips, no holes in my, she rips holes in my jeans and my underwear and makes me go to school. No, I don't make you go to school, but I... Anywho, welcome to my children. Girl Dind. Hello? Hello? Yes? Hi, I'm here with my family. We're all on a group telephone call. We're trying to make booking. Uh, we're, we're curious if you have any rooms open uh, tomorrow for five people. I'm very excited. Thanks, Dad. You're welcome, son. Okay. We're, we're um... going to get him a woman of the night and turn him into a man. Okay. I'm, so I'm going want... to become a man. Do you want, uh, 
two rooms or one or uh one room two beds if possible okay for tomorrow yeah we're doing a documentary for the uh the tlc channel it's called women of the night uh fancy feast is sponsoring it um my son is wow. going to be involved with a woman of the night and uh he's gonna be i'm gonna man. eat ass for the first time Oh, good. That's right, son. Okay. Um, I'll, be, I'll be right back. I uh, hey, get hey, my lady, computer. lady, I, I'm I'm 27 years old. I'm gonna become a man. Oh wow! Nice. Yeah, I'll I'm be- excited. I I've never even seen a girl that was naked that wasn't my mom before. Oh. Geez. But dad says that this lady will do whatever I want. So we're gonna play video games. And he's going to get us um, Red Robin, and then I, I get an E.S. Yeah. I'm really excited. Wow. Okay, I'm going to get to my... Kanye, he's my favorite rapper. He said, you got to eat ass if you want a girl to like you. And I'll probably marry this girl. That's probably what I'm going to do. I'm probably getting married. You can come if you want. I just have to get to my computer real fast. But... I have an I have a switch. If you want to get me a gift, like you can get me um, the new Pokemon for my switch. Hello. Okay, I'm here. Sorry about that. And is it one night? I don't know. How long does it take to do that, Dad? I've never I've never done it. Does it take like? Three days. If you do, if it's more than three minutes, then you're doing it wrong. Okay. <laughs> so probably just like an hour. What name is the room under? What? What does that mean? What name would you like the room under? Yeah, she's saying things. I don't. I don't know what that means. It's under the rapper name Forrest. That's the number four. O R S T. We rap for the Jolly Ranchers sometimes and Licorice. And a last name? It's just one name. It's number four O R S T. That's our name. And TLC Networks, they're they're also covering the bill because they're they're shooting the film with my son and the woman of the night. All right. Well, whoever um I'm excited. Whoever covers I get to eat at has to call the reserve. Okay, they told me that they had already reserved it under uh the, the the learning channel uh pornography uh unit. No, nobody reserved anything. You don't have a name for that unit? No. Oh. I guess I'll have to get on the phone with them tonight because we're supposed to be there tomorrow. How how we can we, you know, when we get there, and if there's no room... I want to eat ass. I, I know you I want to see her naked. I want her to show me her boobs. Because that's something I've always wanted to see is boobs, but... Lewistown, Montana, Supreme Front Desk. This is Mike. How can I help you? Hi, hey, Mike. 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 This is Mike. Oh, how Mike. can I help you? Montana, Supreme Front Desk. Micah? Micah? How can I help you? Oh. Are you a fucking delay or what? What's the matter? What's the hat? What's the problem, huh? You fucking cotton candy brain son of a bitch. Hello? I'm sorry. Hello? Hello? Thank you for calling the Yellowstone Parking and Suite. Hello. Hi. How are you doing tonight, honey baby? Who is this? This is Frank. How are you doing tonight, honey baby? Hi, Frank. How can I help you? 
Oh, I'm I'm intoxicated and I'm looking for a room with me and my my family. My brother's okay, here. Okay, how many my people? My daughter's here. Uh, five people, one dog, one cat, and two rhinoceros plushies that we intend to bring into the room. I can't oh. sleep without my rhinoceros plushie. Is that a pillow pet? Yes. Okay. Well, then I guess that's okay. Um, per pet, it's a twenty dollar fee. Dad has PTSD. Um, per night. You should tell her. I'm sorry. My me. dad has Hello? PTSD. My that's dad has unfortunate. PTSD. Unfortunate. I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah, he fought in the war. Oh, that's very yeah. nice of him to do. He's, he's a Thanks hero. for your service. General Sorry Cola. about the PTSD. Fight. And Corporal Is this Pepsi. an actual guest call? Or are you just wasting my time? My, my name's Timothy. I, I don't know. My name's Timothy. For a, it's a sizzle chest. Hi. Don't interrupt him, you motherfuck. Pardon me. Uh, what can I help you with? Don't. Don't. You interrupting him again? All right. Uh, thank you for calling. I'm just not no longer doing business. Thank you for you. calling. I'm just not going to take this right now because I want to do my job. <laughs> That's the sound cat makes. No, it is. Oh, give me the train. Just calling. Hello? Hi. I have the train set up in my room, and I have it go into everyone else's room, but people won't open their doors. What? I'm ready to get the conductor going. I've got the train set, and I'm trying to, get, like, I've got the tracks going under people's doors, but they won't open the door so the train can come in. <laughs> See? It's ready to go. I got the black powder in there. It's got the smoke coming out. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. That's the train. Oh. All right, get get ready with that fucking uh, the vocals. What's up, man? Hello. Hello. Hey, I'm having a problem in my yeah. Hi, I'm having a problem in my room. The the I think the batteries in the remote have stopped working. I can't seem to turn CNN down. It's it's on full blast. Oh, oh, okay. Like I'm trying to turn it down, but hey, like buddy, the remote's hey, not working hey. at all. Hey, uh, come down to the front what? desk, okay? Come down to the front oh. desk. But uh, what's that? I can't hear you. This fucking TV is so loud. I need batteries for my remote. Okay, come down to the front desk. I'll give them to you. I I need batteries. Come down to the front desk. I'll give them to you. I just fucking fucking can't hear anything. Hello? Come down to the front desk. Uh, hello? Yeah. Fucking see you, man. What the creature would say? Hi, there's a creature in my room. I don't know. What's your room number? Ma'am, the creature. The creature's loose. We're in 15. The baby's upset. One fifteen. The baby's upset. Vapor. Yes? I do, yes. I, uh, I do not rent nobody in 115, sir. The baby grew wings and flew away. Hello? I can't believe it. Hello? Yeah, what oh, hi, that was my, that was the, the, Yeah, that was my hysterical wife. Um, and then uh, she's mad because the toilet paper hurts too much. She wipes and it hurts. What's your room number, by the way, sir? We're 215, 215. 215? We do not have any room with 215. Oh, do you do you have a Bakrichod room by any chance? I'm sorry? Bakrichod room. Do you have? Oh. Uh, le- uh, can you tell me the name so I can check in a computer? Yes. Uh, le- le- first name is Terry, T-E-R-R-I. Nobody the here with their name. Is, Which motel the, the, the did you guys call? Terry, Terry Banchut is my name. Nobody is with Hello? their name. 
Okay. Hello? Can you look under Marachod? Who am I speaking with? My name is Ben Chod. Hello, stupid. Good. When the what hi, question? Hi. How can I help Hello? you? Hi. Hi, there's an awful racket next door. I don't know what's going on. Is this... Is this, what? like, normal? Uh, well, where would you the, ask? I'm not actually in a room. I'm just visiting. Uh, but there's an awful racket coming from the room next door. Oh, yeah. I, is this is this normal? No. Hello. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. Hi. This awful racket. Uh, is this? Do you hear that? Here, let me put my phone right up to the door here. Wall. Yeah. What room are you in? I'm outside a wall right now. I'm visiting. But what what, what room is, is that? Well, I, I'm I'm lying. I'm feeling my way around. Hey, you motherfucker! Get out of my wife! Get out of my wife! I'm scaring my kids, man. This is, my children are crying. They throw the whole thing wall. Hello, what is this? Oh, oh God! Are you here? Who who is this calling? Where are you trying to call? Yes, I'm I'm blind. I'm in the hall. I'm trying to find my friend's room. I'm feeling the numbers. And my son is he's hiding and covering his ears because he keeps hearing this. What is this? Hello? Hello? What is this? Is this a baby bill? Are they making babies here? Thank you for calling this lesson. How can I help you? making donuts at the window. Can I drive through and get some donuts? Okay, you're just stupid. This is a hotel. Oh, I thought this was Dunkin' Donuts. I'm sorry. Party. Hello, thank you for calling Marriott Town Play Suites in Hobbs, Mexico. This is Amin. How may I help you? Ahmed? Hello? I, hi, I tried turning it off and back on again. I, it's still not working. Uh, turning what and off, uh, on and off again? The baby. I tried to turn it off and then back on, and it's still malfunctioning. I don't know what to do. That's unfortunate. I called down here once. You, you said turn it off and back on. Like container sweet, how can I help you? Oh. 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 Yeah. Oh. 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 Park. Hi, there's some rednecks in an RV fucking, and I need some help. Hello? Hey, motherfucker, how are you? Yeah. 
Uh, we want to get a room. Oh, yeah. Oh, fuck yeah, bro. Oh, fuck yeah. I, I bet this guy suck a, suck a mean fart out of May we now grab you? Hi, we're looking for the mayo for the yeah. inn. Yeah. Give me a mayo. Come on, you you filthy white bread whore. What do you need, sir? It's a mayo. Oh yeah, I need the bench hood that runs the mayo. Uh, I need some Hellmans. I need some Dukes. I need it all in here now. I need it stat. Oh, stat. Oh, yeah. This is oh, a male insane. model, oh. not 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 your oh. servant, sir, okay? Don't call me again, otherwise oh. I have to complain oh, about you. Chode. Oh, shut up, Mara Chode Mayo. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Thank you for calling the Home Two Suites by Hilton Russell. My name is Angel. Can you hold, please? No, I, 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 I can't. There's an abomination in the next room. I'm sorry? There's an abomination in the next room. Okay, I apologize. Is there something I can help you with? Her na yeah, her name is Catastrophe, and she, she's, she's breeding. Uh, okay. Yeah, and she doesn't believe in Jesus, but she believes in penis and the vagina, like, conception. You know what I'm saying? Oh, fuck, yeah. Um, sir, I have guests at the front desk. Is there something I can help you with? Yeah, she has six black men in here and one Asian to try to, a to even things out. And it's very disturbing. Sir, I have to place you on hold. I bet. Uh. What the fuck now? <laughs> yeah, you gotta have that one Asian. <laughs> you gotta even it out. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, fuck yeah. He fucking hyperventilated. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Can I help you? Yeah, it's still happening. Things are going in and out of orifices that should not be happening. Sir, um, is there something I can help you with? No, just making a lot of noise, and I'm I'm putting my phone in my ear. I have a stethoscope, so I can hear everything in the room. Here, I'm, I'm plugging it into my phone. Oh, you hear this? Yeah. Yeah. See? That's on the other side of my Sir, wall. What number are you in? I'm in 215, and they're they're over here in 213. That's everything that's going uh, on. I'm here. I'm hearing everything. Uh, I have a borescope going through the wall into their room and under the uh, under the door. I can see what they're doing. Oh yeah. Uh, I don't see a wedding ring on any of their fingers. Uh, 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 I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm, ma'am, hang on, hang on the phone with me. I'm gonna knock on their door and Please I'm gonna don't. demand that they stop. Please don't knock uh. on the door, sir. Uh, hang, hang on, they have to stop. This is out of wed. This is not. They're not even married. Sir, um, I'm gonna. I apologize. I have somebody else at my front counter. I'm asking that you don't knock on their counter and I'm, the door. And I, 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 can I put you on hold? Uh. Oh, all the glasses breaking and shit. Oh, She's putting what? us on hold. Uh, it sounds like yeah. dumb, dumb a little bit, don't don't you think? Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, pillow. Give me the pillow. No, you gotta fucking come. You just called me. Who is this? La Quinta. Oh, fuck yeah. La Quinta. Oh, shit. I'm sorry, man. It must be a wrong number because I just got a scam likely guy. What number? Uh, what number? Uh, uh huh. Uh. That's why 
Western Pine Springs in. This is Holly. How may I help you? Hi, Holly. Um, I think I consumed too many marijuanas in your room, and now I don't know where the door handle is. What room number and what's the name associated with the room? I'm in two. I'm in two fifteen, and just mar just the the walls. They're making noise. Oh, uh, we don't have anyone noise. in 215. Oh, yeah. I'm in 215. Miss Green, may I help you? Ah! Yeah. Hello? 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 Hi, I, I ran into a goose and made a honking noise with my car. Uh, we're okay. The goose is very angry. He's pecking at my, my brother who's sitting next to me in my car. It somehow Man, the goose is pecking at my balls. It's pecking at my balls. It pecked at me first, and then it pecked him, and now we're trying to... Ma'am, it's pecking, it's pecking at my balls. It, we're in the park. Yeah, this is no... Balls. Yeah, it's pecking at our balls in your parking lot. Temporary Woodin, how may I help you? How? Hi, hello. <laughs> Hello? We're getting busy in the oh, hotel yeah. room. Uh, you want to join us? Yeah. Would you like to join us? Uh, hey, we're getting really hey, busy hey, guy. here. We're, we're, we're trying to console our friend. But listen, this, this is what happened, right? We brought our friend in for his birthday. And we blindfolded him. We told him, we, I was like, hey, we got this new chick for you. And then he started having sex with her. And then he found, he, you want to tell him, do you want to tell him what happened, guy? Yeah. She was my sister. I my sister. Thanks for ahead. calling Motel 6 in Rita from New Mexico. This is Daphne. How can I help you? Nah, I'm telling you guys, she's a fucking smoker. You hear that gravelly voice? Old gravel mouth there? <laughs> Hello? Hello? She drank this morning. Hi, gravel mouth. How are you? Sounds like you got a mouthful of pebbles. Can I help you? Are you peeing? No. Can I help you? W what is that liquid sound? Water running in the restroom. Can I help you? So you're peeing. You're, wait a minute. So you're peeing. No. Hey, put, put, the, put the phone closer to the urine source. I want to hear it. Can I help you with something? Yeah, I just told you how you can help me. Listen, put it, put it right next to the, the right spigot. <laughs> I like your fat-ass podcast. Thank you for calling Motel 6. Redoso, New Mexico. This is Daphne. How can I help you? Daphne, I'm going to need some of your help, please. All right. How can I help today? Um, well, you see, we're out here because my wife is at a bachelorette party. And, oh. um, yeah, so I'm here in the room by myself. And, um, I have this thing that I like that she does where I, I, I have a waffle machine in the room. And basically, I have her walk around barefoot. And then she steps on my waffles after it's made and I eat it. But she's been out, and um, I, I, mean, I need someone to come step on these waffles before I eat them. Yo, you need so it doesn't have to be here and stop trying huh? to prank call. This is not okay. The next time you call, we will be calling the police and having your number retraced. Re this is not okay, and you need to stop. You can't step on my waffles. You need to stop calling here. Find did, some did, other did the first okay. trace did the first trace not go well and you gotta retrace hey? Fuck you. Hey Kathy, you you know, she's all whispering what she can. Hello? Hello? Hi. Comfort in uh, Rito, so uh, Yes. Uh, what happened is I, I accidentally took the pillow, the guy next door, 
and he came in my room. He's looking for me, but I'm hiding, and he wants his pillow. I'm sorry, I didn't catch any of that. I fucking took a pillow from the guy next door, and he's mad, and I'm hiding because he wants to fucking hit me on my stomach. He's in my room and he's mad. I took a kilo. I go next door. Where are you? He's like he's gonna get me, man. Okay, but I'm where are you? I'm in a blanket. Where? I'm in his room. Where? I don't know his room number. I, I'm in the room. I'm in his room and I'm hiding because I want his pillow. Okay. Well, what's the last name? I don't know his last name. You stupid, I'm in his room. I don't know him. Okay, well, I can't help you if I don't know where you're at. He's mad I took in the pillow. Okay, are you at Comfort Inn? Yes, I meant to, I meant to Comfort Inn because the guy, I took his pillows. You took his beers? He say, he say, once I find that motherfucker, his pillow, you fucking, oh my God, listen. You know, motherfucker talk about cerveza? Where is he? You fuck, do you hear that? Where the fuck is he? He has my pillow, he has my cervezas. He's motherfucker. Do you hear? Do you hear that man? Where is he? Motherfucker. (laughs) He's gonna get me, man. I find you, I'm going to suck your dick. I suck the pillow right out of your dick. Come on, hey. come over here. I don't want the man to suck my dick, man. <laughs> Enchanted Highway, this is Jay. Have you seen the guy? He's wearing a big blue shirt for playing hide and seek, and I cannot find him. I guess it wasn't that great of an idea. Thank you for calling home to the Sweet Home. Gordo, how's it going? Hello? Is Gordo there? I'm sorry? Gordo? Yep, yep. Is Gordo there? Let me see. Give me one second. Okay. I don't have anything in my system about that name. Well, I mean, I think he's right there in the main room, the lobby. Can you turn and say, hey, Gordo? And he'll turn around, I think. You'll see him. Okay, give me one second. <clears throat> oh, damn it. Asshole. Oh, fuck yeah. Bitch. Did you fucking hung up on me, man? I put you on hold. The fuck? No, the phone it go like this. It go beep beep, and it hangs up on me because you did it. You were on hold. Well, you see Gordon or not, fool? Nope. Well, what was your fat ass doing? Hello, thanks for calling Suburban Extended Stay in Alamogordo. This is Randy. How can I help you? No, uh, Gordo? Hello? Talk to, talk to my uncle Dwight. Talk to Dwight. Hey, hey, li- hey listen. I'm going to leave my uh, my nephew here. He's going to stay here. Uh, I I got a room for him, but I get him some Percocet, two cervezas, and a Vicodin. And he's going to go to sleep for a bit, okay? He's got a, he's a hard day of work tomorrow. He's got the rest. Okay, uh, what room so number is you it? fucking waking me up. He's on uh, two, two, 215. Oh, okay. And I don't want to be woken up, and I don't want to be fucking woken up, man. Okay, we'll do our best. Someone fucking wake him up. It's going to be the last motherfucking thing you do here. I'll buy this place, and I'll, I'll fucking take a wrecking ball to it, okay? I kick in the ass at you. I'm sorry? Hello? I said I kick in the ass at you. 
kick in the abs. Now you. If, oh, you come on. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Are you like a Dutch speaker? Oh, yeah. It's good. Oh, yeah. Been her vagina. Hey, you ever seen a woman that looks like she has a vagina, but it's just really her hairy chin? Jeffrey, how may I help you? I bit my cheek. Oh no. Yeah. I was in my room and I, I turned on yoga and I was doing a stretch and I bit my ass cheek. I think it was because I didn't put my mat on the floor, and it was so, uh, like in some way I I, I offended the the gods. Like I didn't say namaste, and that I I bit my cheek and ripped my asshole on the corner of the bed. Oh no. Yeah, so I'm looking for toilet paper because like there's spillage, there's spillage right now. Okay, what room are you in? And I'm in 215. And also, do you know, like, some guy, he comes through here and he's doing, he's, like, doing door-to-door -door sales right now? No. Hey, man. Yeah, he keeps talking about his, pil his pilos. He's, like, the Mexican my pilo guy, I think. He's not the regular white guy, but the, the other hey, one. Hey, man. Hey, what? open man. the door, he, man. He, he, won't, he, won't, he won't leave me alone. Open the fucking door, man. I want to sell you some pilos, man. He keep he won't he won't stop knocking on my door, man. Like I got the door just a jar a little bit. He keeps knocking. Come on, man. Oh, okay. I see you're in there. You're on the phone with somebody. Come on, man. Hey, listen, I'm talking to the front desk. They said they said if you don't stop bothering me, then they're gonna send someone up here. Who who said that? The fucking lady. Hey, 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 hey. hey. What, what are you doing? Give me the fucking pillows, man. Give me the fucking. Pillows. No, you can do no. Oh, I'm gonna fucking get this. Please don't put it all over you. Thank you for calling. Please put it with your pillow. Hello? Hey, hello? Hello, how can I help you today? Hello? Uh, this lady right here, this lady, she came in my room and she's asking for my pillow. Sorry, what is that? This lady, listen. Give me your pillow. She keeps on telling pillow? me I give you the pillow, man. Come on. No, the lady, man, listen, you no, fucking listen, pillow. idiot. Friend Des, can I help you? Hey, man, how come you hang up? Sorry, I, I got disconnected. How can I help you? This fucking lady taking some pillows out of my room. You you need some pillows? You idiot, son of a bitch. You idiot, son of a bitch. Listen to me. The lady wants my pillow. She took in it and she's gone. Give me Aquí está mi, aquí está mi, my tío Dwight. Aquí está mi tío Dwight. He's right here. You could talk to him. You're yeah, I, 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 hello. I no, no. I'm a Hispanic representative. Listen, he, his his status in this country is not what you would consider legal. Uh, his ex-wife, who's staying in another room. Is uh, requesting his his he, he calls it a pillow, but it's a, a pillow. pillow. Yeah, in the divorce, so they are currently Give me fighting a pillow right over now. a pillow. God damn it! Um, so we need something to saw this pillow in half in order Can to resolve to me, this. Please, and, and a... hey, listen, we got a fucking pillow. We got. Are you guys drunk? What's going on? I'm What's sorry. going on? No, 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 no. I'm a lawyer. I'm a lawyer. But listen, we we are drunk. But if Maybe. if we don't if we don't separate this pillow and cut it in half, she's threatened to suffocate him with it. Baby, please well, don't don't get. I I love you, baby. Tell, please don't tell him to Just figure it out. I don't, <laughs> this is this is pretty obnoxious. Let's uh, let's figure it out. We're all adults, all right? But he's 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 had like three cervezas, and there's no bringing Come him on, back baby. after that. 
All right. Maybe I'm going to go and hang up the phone. If you guys, if there's an emergency, give me a call, all right? Good night. Hey, don't Maybe be an please. asshole. Good evening, I'm going to get you. Help you. Hey. Hello? Hey, hey this one second. answered. He doesn't, he, does, he doesn't sound gay. I'm telling you, man, he's gay. He's talking. Where's the next real man? Are you gay? Are you gay? You don't do the car, the cat? The car, the cat. Hello? Hello, gay man, hello? Joseph, right? He's very happy. He's a very happy man. Hello? Are the okay. happy people there? Hello? Hello, stupid. I don't think it's going. Thank you. Oh. Thank you. Fine holiday. He's really drippy. Hello? Dude, how, are you, my uh, look, how are you dripping that much? Hello? Like, I don't understand. Desk, where is it? Where is it? He, 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 yeah, front desk. Can you just a second? Where are you dripping from? I don't know. She got the pillow and she hit me. Come on, man. She fucking hit me. Yeah, so I, I we're trying to we're trying to figure it out. This this man's sitting in the hallway right now, and it looks like his uh, his ex wife filled a pillowcase full of bars of soap and masturbated with them. Ah, uh, she masturbated on me. Um, he, he he seems drunk. He seems drunk. I'm not. I'm trying to figure. I'm trying to figure this out. He just handed me his phone. He dialed, yeah. and I I don't know who you are, but he dialed. He dialed it, and he said, "Talk." He said, "Talk" is what he told me. Her, her name is so, Cat. She's right here. Her name is Cat. Not, she needs to get ho- on the fucking phone. Which hotel are you in? Uh, I'm just a bystander. I was actually just visiting a friend in one of the rooms, and uh, I, I I'm, I'm just going to leave. Okay. Get your you, fucking ass on the phone. Are you at the Holiday Inn Express and Suites? Of course. And yeah. Gordo, Gordo, get out of the fucking room, Gordo. Like kicking an ass of you, Gordo. Uh, which floor are you on? Uh, second floor. Second. Second floor. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, all he, all he, all he, does, he keeps, he keeps yelling about the, the pendejo. I'm not invited here. Okay, I'll go ahead and go up there. Me? I'll be, I'll be right there, sir. Uh, <laughs> sorry about that. Hello. Yeah, it's, 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 Hello? It's, the, it's the fourth one. It's the fourth one from the uh, bottom. Don't tell him to come here. Maybe he in here. Baby. Yeah. No. Cry. You I want the fucking know. pillow? You taking that fucking pillow? Then take it. Oh no! I I took it. If you gotta go, it's cool. Maybe fucking I hope. I hope you fucking shit on that pillow and it fucking well, farting. I'm gonna be on the corner right now. You better floor. step on my waffle and put the fucking feet on the pillow and I'll lick it. You're so weird with that. Uh, fucking goddamn. Fucking NA. Uh, hello, sir. He said he needs syrup. He needs syrup for the um, waffle stump. Can you ask the name for some, for some leche? Can yeah. we just get more posts on that? Wouldn't that be the easiest thing to do? But she puts them down as soon as we get new pillows or towels. She puts them down her pants. Oh, I'll take them off. Sir, Why know, do you have like six pillows? She she painted her face black and then stuffed them all down her pants and said, "I'm Fat Albert. I'm Fat Albert." Hey, hey, hey. Thank you for calling Holiday Inn Express and Suites. This is Chris North. This is Alexis speaking. Yeah, yeah. Hello. I was just talking to the other to the other guy. Okay. Uh, there's a and bird. He, he, he hung up. Okay, yes, sir. He was on his way to the second floor. To the second one? Yes, sir. Are you in the second floor? Yeah, yeah. But we, um, the the problem is, like, they were they were still fighting. She Did opened he... the birdcage. What's the room, sir? What's well, they're in the book? hallway. In the second floor? They fucking... The pajaros are out in there becking my little world. Dude, don't don't hit that. Don't break the mirror. Don't break the mirror. 
I'm gonna fuck up first. Oh god. Oh. 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 Hello? Oh. Hello? Oh. Yes, what is happening? Oh. 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 Uh, they appear to be making up in the hallway. Oh. 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 Okay, hang up. Oh. Hang up, Alexa. Okay. Oh. Yeah, yeah. dumb name. Comfort Suites University, Zachary speaking. How may I assist you tonight? Hey, Z- hey, Zach. Listen, I saw Kelly Kapowski down at the at the max with Screech, and I think he's gonna try to violate her. I'm gonna fuck in there. I'm cool. gonna fuck her. Have a good night. That's a Hispanic Dustin Diamond. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Good evening. Thank no. you for calling the courtyard in Las Cruces at the end of the Hey. Hello? Be the bro. I, I need your help, bro. What can I assist you with? Hello? All right. So I'm in the room by myself. Uh, I've been drinking, so I don't give a fuck. But my wife is out here for a bachelorette party, and I'm by myself in the room. And I brought my waffle maker, and what I usually have her do is, like, walk around barefoot and get her feet all dirty, and then I have her step on my waffle before I eat it. And they oh, think she drove him to Take him, how can I help you? Hi. I drove my friend over. He's drunk. I just checked him into your uh, hotel, and he's uh, he's going to be doing some shit in your room, so I just want you to. Uh, okay. Uh, do you hey, know what number Don't you open that birdcage. Don't open the bird cage, please. Yeah, he's in there with his par- uh, his parakeet, his dead bear- uh, parakeet, and he's breathing. Uh, uh, my fucking bird. Love okay, you. thank you. I love you, birds. It died. It died in a in a cockfighting ring. Okay, I'll, I'll make a note of it. Thank you. All right, the bird has got out. Ah! <laughs> Thank you for calling the Spring Hill Street Cemetery. This is Jeremy. How can I help you? Hello? Hello? Hey. Hello? Like in fucking, Good evening. Uh, Thank you for calling the Spring Hill Street Cemetery. This is Joyce. How may I help you? Joyce, hi. My my friend, he is pissed off. He he is smashing shit in here right now because he can't find Police Academy on TV. Okay. What hey. room are you in? He's in. We're in 215, and he's pissed. What he said if he doesn't see in? Officer Mahoney, ma'am, if he doesn't see Officer Mahoney in like three minutes, he said he's fucking done. He said, Where's done. Commandant Lassard? God damn it. Okay. What room are you in? And I want the funny African American gentleman who makes noises. What room are you in? Two fifteen. Okay. The High Tower's grandma. I need to see High Tower's mom or whatever. Yeah, ma'am, he's bipolar. He's over here trying to put the mirror back together now with some gorilla glue and Elmer's I don't glue. Know. He's mixing it. He said it's a super glue. Goodbye. I, I don't know what hair. hotel you're calling, but I don't have I don't have anybody in that room. Oh my he's he, oh my god Hi. he's at it again. I have a two fifteen. She's like watching. Holiday Holiday Express. Express. Deming, this is Philip. How may I help you? Hey big Philip J. Fry, how are you? Good, sir. Good. Hey listen, I talked to Leela, she said she'll go on a date with you. Okay. So yeah, you, as what, long as what, you fill her up with your nuts. Yeah. Is there something I can help you with? Because this is getting very inappropriate. Well, you might get cock blocked by um, what is that spaceship, Captain? Oh, uh, Cisco. Please have a good, Captain have Cisco. A good day. Hey, I got a real question. Good evening. Thank you for calling Deming Super Eight Motel. This is Rose speaking. How may I help you? I didn't fucking call you. Yes, you did. Rose? Bye. Yes, this is Rose speaking, but if you're going to talk to me with that language, Hi. I'm going to hang up. If you want no, to call again and that's not... That's my brother. Language, 
That's my brother. He's a. Hotel. That's my what? Hello. Nicholas, can I help you? Hi. Hi. Hey, hey Nicholas. Do you Hello. have posturopedic? It's very good for back. <laughs> I need a posturopedic. Are you calling to reserve a room or are you calling to prank call? I'm oh. calling because I require a Craftmatic adjustable bed if I were to rent a room there. I, I'm sorry. See, what, what was that? I, I, I heard a turkey. I need, I'm just I'm just very confused. I apologize. <laughs> I need a Craftmatic adjustable bed in my room because what I do is I put the bowl of chips on my lap and then I use the Craftmatic to move my back towards the chips so that I can eat them. Uh, I'm, I apologize, sir, but I don't think we have any of those beds available here at the hotel. Do you have... Oh, no, the birds. The birds! <laughs> sir, the birds are here. Yes, sir. <laughs> can you please... Yeah, can you please call an aviary expert over here to deal with these ravens? Sir, if you're not going to rent a room, I am going to hang up. <laughs> yeah, call in Charlie Kelly. He's in uh he's well versed in bird law. You just called me. Who is this? This is Doug. I missed a call from this number last night. Like, uh huh. Who is this? Oh shit! I'm sorry, man. It must be a wrong number because I just got a scam likely guy. No, <laughs> yeah, I'm from Puritan, Wyoming. You just what you number? Showed up that you called ten something last night. What number? Uh, the number was uh, three one. Uh huh. That call me? What number just called you prior to me that you think is a scam? Oh, I I don't know. I never had a call. Hold this on was a late second, last I can't night hear you very well. Call. Hold on. Are you there? Okay, what number called you prior to you calling me? Three one. Say that again. Three one. I ain't playing shit, Six. ma'am. What? I just got a call from you saying it was a scam likely, so I think you got the wrong number. No, well, this is the one that called me at 10 o'clock last night. No, nah, yeah, I think so, actually. There's a good chance of that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm sorry about it. Goodbye. South Bird, Tennessee. Hello. Do what? How are you doing today, Mr. James? Yeah, uh, yes. Pardon? I'll take 200 for it. It's... How are you doing today? It's a dang good one. It's 5,001. Can you hear me? Do what? Can you hear me? I'm not understanding it. One of my phones is cut down. Is it a what now? Can you hear me? You're speaking with John Myers. Can you hear me? Mm -hmm. Okay, well, I'm calling you today, Mr. James, from the American Cash Award Company, okay? Hello? I'm calling you today from the American Cash Award Company. My call is pertaining to your letter of notification that we sent to you by your mail to notify you your name was selected in our company raffle as one of our monthly first place winner. Did you get a chance to read our true letter of notification, Mr. James? Is it what? Did you get a chance to read our true letter of notification? Oh, yeah, it's, uh... Okay, so, um... It do that. So, it's, it's, uh, like I said, it's 5,000 watt. It's... 
Okay, well, so do you, are you going to be interested today to receive in your price package? It's, uh... You're going to be interested today to receive in your price? Pretty big one. Pardon? Do what, ma'am? Are you going to be interested today to receive in your price? Yeah, where do you live at? Okay, well, we're going to deliver your price to you. You certified your sure check of $555 million and also a 2022 Mercedes-Benz car. All right? Where? Okay, we're going to deliver a certified to sure check to you and also a brand new 2022 Mercedes-Benz car. Okay? Small flight. Pardon? Mm -hmm. So you're going to be home today? Well, you need to just come and look at it. And, uh... Okay, well, we're going to deliver your price to you. And uh, what I want to know today, I want to know if you're going to be home today. Do what? Are you going to be home today? I'm just not understanding. I'm sorry. Are you going to be home today? Uh-huh. Just to Okay, okay, because we're going to have to deliver your price to you so we can have our new certified cashiers that deliver to you and also your brand new car that you win yourself in our company today, okay? A trailer? Pardon? Oh, yeah, it would. Uh...